Selim Kaji is the crown prince of pop opera in South Africa, but it took a while for him to discover that singing could be his pleasure, purpose and profession. Having established himself on the local scene with an album and highly successful live performances, he recently returned to the Cape Town stage with a brand new show. Michelle met up with Selim and joined the audience. Salim Kaji always knew that he would make a career in the arts, but singing was by no means his first choice. Initially, he was attracted to drawing and sculpture, and having qualified as a graphic designer at the Cape Peninsula University of Technology, he went on to work in the industry before opening his own studio. That's a success story in his own right, but for the moment, we were focused on Salim, the performing and recording artist, and more particularly, the preparation for his latest live show. Salim Kaji has become one of South Africa's favorite classical crossover artists. Described as part Bocelli with a hint of Groban and a dash of Pavarotti, he is fast putting his inimitable signature on a sound that the world loves to support. His next production is called The Love Story, and this takes on a whole new meaning. The day I found you I want to stay Salim and his musical director were running through one of the numbers when Michelle arrived. Bravo, Salim, that was incredible. And that's just the rehearsal. <laughs> yeah. Your latest production, Love Story, takes on a whole new meaning. Congratulations, you're a dad. How has that changed you as a performer? Not so much as a, a performer, but I do like to have a family with me when I perform. In fact, they're actually backstage now. I'd love to meet them. Well, let's go. Salim's wife, Kevino, was in the dressing room with her firstborn son. Hello. Congratulations to you. Thank you. What a beautiful baby boy. Yes, his name is Kai. I know Salim is in the room, but what is he like as a dad? He's really a great father, I must say. He's very involved, hands-on. He's really, really a great dad. Salim, this year you've created the love story. How would you describe your love for your son? It's a different kind of love. It's a new love. It's an unconditional love. And I guess you spend a lot of energy, but you do it with a good heart. If there was one song that you would choose to dedicate to him, what would it be and why? I actually am dedicating a song to him in the show, and that song is called uh, Young and Beautiful. Um, it's actually his lullaby song that I used to put him to sleep. And you know what, he has no choice. I was rehearsing for the show and I thought, He's in the house, let me perform for him. Would you encourage your son to follow a career in the arts? Most definitely. I think he's already started. He, st he sings in the morning with his father. While taking a gap year in the UK, Slim immersed himself in music and used training CDs to pick up the basics. He later received formal voice training and has since established his personal brand and a growing fan base. Having performed to rave reviews and sold out shows, this year you launch Love Story. What inspired this production? I thought I'd build a show that could resonate with audiences that came to the previous shows. And also many of the songs I've chosen that resonate with me, the songs that I grew up, the songs that my parents played when I was young, and the songs that moved me. What's the process like from conception to show day? We started a good couple of months ago, about four or five months ago, selecting the songs, working through them, workshopping them with our musical arranger, and tweaking them and tailoring them for the show itself. So many of the arrangements are new and fresh arrangements. And then we structure a set list. So once we have a musical structure, we bring in the musical director, the pianist, and all the musicians to actually bring it to life. From a technical aspect, what needs to be taken into consideration? The orchestra always presents a challenge in itself because we're working with so many musicians. And uh, obviously we have a musical arranger that creates parts for every single musician. And those parts need to be structured for each instrument. And at rehearsals, they need to be pulled together by the musical director himself to ensure everyone's playing in sync. What can we expect from your latest production? I'd like people to experience their memories of love throughout their life. A simple melody has the power to transport you instantly to another time and place in your life and that's what we try to elicit in, in the audience and response and their energies when they come in to see the show. Well, I'm going to leave you to it. I cannot wait to see the show. Absolutely. Salim has performed as a solo artist and in concert with international acts such as Celtic Women, 
and having also released a successful album, he's developed a very loyal following in his home city and abroad. He's a man, he's Part of Salim's appeal as an artist lies in his engaging interaction with the audience. So tonight, the show is called Love Story, because each one here this evening has their own love story. A poignant memory of heartbreak, disappointment, a love lost, a new love found, and hopefully some of the songs that I perform for you tonight may bring back a special memory for you. Some numbers are performed with a full orchestral backing, while others lend themselves to a lighter, more intimate style. And the production team focuses on matching the mood of Salim's vocals. Pivot, what was the brief that you received from Salim, and how did you go about interpreting it? Well, my brief was that there was someone that arranged the score, and I was asked to direct the show and bring the show alive. Ahmed, what is it like working with Salim? Working with Salim is an absolute pleasure. What he exudes on stage is very much who he is off stage as well. He's playful and there's a lot of fun times to be had, but when it's serious, it can get pretty serious too. The hope is that after the audience leaves at the end of a performance, they, they leave with a love story in their heart. The memories of what their personal love story has been in their life and possibly what it can still be. Yeah. So young and beautiful And I love you so Your lips are red Your eyes that shine in the stars Salim's repertoire spans almost every decade of the 20th century and he always includes a mix of original material and crowd-pleasing golden oldies, including this Simon and Garfunkel hit. show, Salim had broken hearts, brought tears to eyes, and rekindled a sense of love and romance among the audience. He delivered everything that his Cape Town fans had hoped for, and those further fields may also have an opportunity to enjoy a live Salim Kaji experience soon. Thank you very much. Salim has credited you with motivating and inspiring him to do another show. Will you be taking the show nationally? We're looking at taking it to the rest of the country and perhaps even to the rest of the world in time. I love Salim Kaji. I haven't missed a single show. If you look at the audience, you know, it basically relates to everybody in the audience. After the show, Salim took time to meet some true romantics. Congratulations to you both. 50 years. What an inspiration. And we couldn't have spent it in a better way. What did you most enjoy about Salim's concert this evening? I just love his voice. What's the secret to celebrating 50 years? The secret? Simple. Love and honestly with a promise to transport the audience through a magical journey of love pop opera sensation Salim Kaji has delivered once again Salim is truly an accessible artist in more ways than one